Okay, so you've seen in the other video how to find the volume of a rectangular prism. You know, one of those three dimensional shapes that looks like a shoe box or a cereal box, any kind of box, whether it be a cube or another um, shape with rectangular sides. Now we're going to learn how to find the volume, okay, using cubic units, of a triangular prism where you have triangles on the ends and then rectangles on the sides okay so basically what you do is you're trying to find the area of one of the triangles and you multiply that by how long it is okay so I have my formula is one half the base times the height I'm talking about the height of the triangle here Okay, now this is, you may recognize this from the area of a triangle. Okay, then I'm multiplying it by this length here. Which really, that, that's the same as um, trying to find the volume of a, of a rectangular prism. You multiply the length, you find the area of one of the ends, and you multiply it by how, how long it is. So in this case, I have... 3 times 5, I have the height of the triangle, times the base of the triangle, times 8, the length. Okay. And multiplying it by 1 half is the same as just dividing it by 2. That's all I'm doing, just dividing it by 2. So 3 times 5 um, times 8 is 120. 120 divided by 2 is 60. So I know that the volume of this rectangular prism is 60 cubic units. Okay, cubic units. I just take the area of the end triangle and multiply it by this length here. Okay?